Adrian Hitman, thanks for, for joining us. First, let's start with some positives from Saturday night against the Doggies. I thought the ball movement, particularly going up through the corridor, must have pleased you a lot. Yeah, it did. Um, from defensive 50, from centre back, uh, quick ball movement, uh, and we were able to get some handball receives off that. And yeah, get up the corridor where um, we, where well, most teams like it, and the quickest way to goal. Uh, so we're able to do that and get some really good ball movement, um, and vice versa. You know, when we didn't get that movement, we're able to um, take be patient. McGovern and Nelson, really positive signs from your point of view being the defensive coach down back? Yeah, yeah, the, uh, Jackson Nelson, you know, first game, 18 year old, 18 year old young man, um, fitted in really well, fits into the uh, pre season uh, really well with the other guys that were down there. So it's um, a, a big task, isn't it? You know, and, and he, we thought he played his role. And Jerry McGovern, we've spoken about, uh, gets spoken about a fair bit, um, but his uh, main role now is to be consistent and fit into the team defence and our structures and keep playing his role. What do you think are some of the areas that you can still work on coming out of a game from the weekend? Uh, I suppose to make sure that we uh, continually uh, look for opportunities um, with the ball, um, as most teams do, uh, to get that movement that you would like um, and to stay composed with the foot is a, another one that we we want to get into our boys too, so we'll be practicing a bit of that during the week. So what have you made of uh, Carlton's start of the year? What did you make of their game against Richmond? Yeah, look, we've, we've watched it. Um, you know, they were up by 20, 20 odd points, uh, 27 points I think was the, mo the most they got ahead. Uh, and then uh, Richmond overran them. So uh, it's round one. You know, the first game's out of the way. Uh, our job now is to you know, study them really closely. Uh, and when they come over here to, to um, understand how they play and their ball movement uh, and then to stick to our, the way we play also. Final one, where do you think the game on Friday night is going to be won? Where do I think it's going to be won? Um, well, I think it's going to be won, uh, it's probably an old cliche, but to, to all play a role, to play together and play as a team. I think um, it's really hard to identify a specific area that's going to win the game for any team. Uh, I've been watching some really good, intense games over the weekend, and each game is when the teams come together and they play um, as a team, and the whole 22 players have input, they seem to get over the line. So that's what our challenge is this week.